Oh, welcome to Building Boulder. Today's episode is awesome. We are off-site building a model. We're gonna show you how we cut steel, weld steel, and build a miniature model of the steel structures for Boulder's rock structures. Here we go, let's get started. Hey, so let me jump in here real quick and explain what you're about to see. So the rock structures at Boulder are our biggest attraction. They're our signature attraction, and they're gonna look and feel like real rock. But inside the rock, if you look at the plans, there's actually steel pipe that's massive that's gonna actually hold these rocks up. And so you can actually see here a visual that shows what the finished outline rocks are gonna look like compared to the actual steel pipe structure. And this is what we're building a model of. And so just to show you a little bit of scale on this, look at the scale of what this steel pipe is actually going to be. It's upwards of 48 to 60 feet tall. And you can see this little person there showing you the scale of it. That's in real life what it's actually gonna look like. So what we're doing in the video today is we're actually building a model of it, 1 24th the size. So something that's 48 feet tall is gonna actually only be 24 inches tall, or two feet tall. And so the reason we're building a model and again, we're just building a model of the steel pipe today. But the reason we're building a model was an example I got in this book. I love this book. It's called Disney's Land. And in this book, Walt Disney talks about every attraction they built at Disneyland, they would build a model because it helps you really visualize and see exactly what the real thing's going to be. But you'll find errors and mistakes in a model. The model might cost you $5,000 to build but it's gonna save you $50,000 in real cost if you were to build the real thing and find the error later. That's Disney's example, those dollar amounts. And I'll refer to these by name, but just so you know, we've got Base Camp, Conquer Pass, Faith's Edge, Grits Peak, and Epic Arch. Those are the names of all the rock structures. So enough context on that. Hopefully that helps you explain exactly what you're about to see. Let's get back to building the model. But we've got all this material. We've got steel pipe, you can see right here all this steel pipe which actually looks pretty small but it's pretty thick that's a half an inch steel pipe which represents a 12 inch real steel pipe that's how we're going to cut it you'll see you'll see us do welding everything but today's episode is all about building a model of the steel structure and it's pretty fun uh, it's kind of like building the lego set on steroids. So normally I do not cut or make anything, but we're making some exceptions. I'm learning how to cut, and it's pretty awesome. Oh. Let's peel it off for a minute. Oh, that is hot. Good. All right, so now we got this a gnarly edge. So now we just gotta clean it up. We got this half inch steel rod and right now I am cutting all the sections for the right side of the arch while Daniel and Chris are putting together the left side. Measure twice, cut once, that's what they say. Drag it down. When this comes off, it comes off hot. You can see it's got a little edge, so all you gotta do is clean it. Right at six inches. All right, so I'm doing my six inches piece. Now I just gotta keep on cutting away. Got some welding. Oh man, that's cool. over here doing some welding of all of our little model pieces. Man, it looks cool. It's cool to see it go from a plan to still just a model, but you can actually start to see the structure come together on the steel. Here in a couple of weeks, we're actually going to Arkansas to see the real steel that's being made. This is just meant to be a model to give us an idea of how we're gonna carve the rocks. They're gonna carve the rocks, I should say, and uh, how it's all gonna look as a big steel structure. Pretty cool. 
Here's what you hear in the background. Is that welding generator. That's a powerful tool right there. Oh man, there's Grits Peak model. Daniel, well done. Chris, well done. That is cool. I know it just looks like a big hunk of cube, but this is actually first time I've seen something like three dimensional in real life. That's pretty sweet. That's gonna turn into what's called Grits Peak. Man, coming along out here. Epic Arch is getting erected. Nice work, gentlemen. Look at that, dude. That is sweet. <laughs> so this platform, so that would be 16 feet long. This thing's massive. That's why it's called Epic Arch. <laughs> Look at that. That is such good work. Go ahead. That's exactly what you should do, yeah. 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 yeah, this is the job we built. You know what I've learned over the years? Yeah. There's that model. Almost half the arch. This model is starting to get me really excited. I know it probably just looks like a bunch of steel Lego pieces to you, but this is going to be scaled to be a massive steel structure. Just so you know, every half an inch equals a foot. That's not a foot, but you get the point. Something that's 24 inches tall is actually gonna be 48 feet tall just in comparison. So I gotta keep cutting. I got tons of work to do on the cutting on the cutter. They're making a matching and welding. Um, so we gotta keep going. Huge shout out to Parker Engineering for being the mastermind behind this design. His group is absolutely phenomenal. Here is what the drawings look like. I've seen it like this now for, I mean, well over a year. And now we're actually seeing it come together. There's kind of what all the structures look like next to each other. And it's all coming together. Huge shout out to my man, Parker. See you. Status update, how's it coming? This arch is awesome. Here's the Grits Peak. Yeah, there's our little Grits Peak. All coming together. Now, once we do the steel model, then Chris is gonna step up the game and start to do the rock model. That's when things will start to look really awesome. But uh, gotta start with the steel first. We have continued on working on the model. We are now on day two of the model. Daniel and Chris are crushing it today. Uh, looking at the engineering plans, figuring it all out. One thing I didn't say the other day, which I think is critically important, is why are we building a model? Obviously the model is gonna help us visualize what needs to be done when we get on site and there's a 50 foot steel structure and we gotta, I say we, Chris and Daniel and their team have to do all the rock sculpting. The model is gonna give them such a plan of action, which is key. I read a book called Disney's Land, incredible book about the story of building Disneyland and all the challenges and hoorah that went into that. But Walt Disney actually said he always opted to build a model because it might cost $5,000 to build a model, but he always found that that would save him $50,000 in construction costs if they found a mistake when they built the real thing. So by building the model first, they were able to identify if there were any issues and catch those small things in a model before they became big problems. So I took that advice as inspiration and here we are building the model, which is awesome and it's already i can tell helping us visualize things we're going to save a lot of time we're catching little errors here and there in advance which is the goal of this so that's why we're building the model let's go uh let's go check this out show you day two we are almost done with the model the elite team in full force here there's chris in the garage doing some awesome foundation work my man daniel back on the gopro buddy all right here's fate's edge the final big piece. Bates Edge, he's like a wizard now when it comes to this thing. <laughs> Look at that work. Love it. Look at our setup today. Much better setup today. From here to here, right? Yep. Four and three. You got it. Measure twice, weld once. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at these, here are the completed ones. So you grow, saw Grits Peak yesterday. I shouldn't say yesterday, it was more than a day ago. Here is base camp. Look at that. Gotta get a better background for you. There's structure number one. That is called base camp. I'm sure you have no idea what it's actually gonna be, but the rock's gonna come up there. 
He's working on Faith's Edge, which is right there. You just saw it. This one's called Grits Peak. It's the simplest. But let me show you Epic Arch. Oh, yeah. There's Chris checking out his foundations. Yep. yep. So now we know exactly how much space we got under the arch. Yep, we're going to have some lockers under there if we can fit them. And there is Epic Arch. That's the steel. Chris is the rock, planning it all out. All right, so there you can see the steel frame, which I'm sure if you don't know the plans, the steel frame is kind of just like, what is that? So here's a quick little overview. If you look at the steel frame, here's how it's gonna to come together. You've got the steel frame, then they're gonna put rebar all around that frame, and then they're gonna cover it in concrete, which creates the rock. So you can see here in the SketchUp, which is 3D, how we go from the steel frame to the finished rock. And that's how the steel frame, putting it right next to the rock there, you can see how it created the initial structure that then gave Chris and the Elite Concrete team the ability to work off of that steel frame to create the rock. And so that's what we're building the model of today is just the steel frame, but eventually we're gonna build the model of the rock too. You're probably wondering, uh, Daniel does all the hard welding, Chris is doing all the foundations, the measuring, he did a lot of the cutting. What am I doing today? Well, today my job was scale and measurements. And so this was my contribution, was taking the engineered plans and scaling them down to half inch equals a foot. It's basically our scale. So you can see I created this. There's the steel structure. And I identified every piece and what the appropriate scale needed to be. And that's kind of the, uh, ooh, look at that bad boy. That was my contribution to trying to model this thing in 3D and come up with a scale. Again, huge, huge shout out to Parker Engineering. My man Parker is an amazing engineer and came up with some amazing stuff for these rock structures. And now we're just scaling them down and building the model. Oh man, I'm getting pumped now. We are putting the bridge for Conquer Pass together. Check this detail out. I just have to close my eyes because you can't look at the welding, but you can look at it through video. So hopefully that'll look cool. I just closed my eyes. So that little bridge there is what's called Conquer Pass. I'm gonna show it to you in 3D. You can see that thing is called Conquer Pass. Now the reason it's called Conquer Pass, a little fact, the very first name we considered for Boulder was Conquer. And then we found out it was already taken, so we had to change the name. There it is. Boom. Man, you did do a little angle. Yeah, dude. Man, just showing off. I was like, it has a little angle. He's like, I think I can do it. I was like, no, he is flexing. <laughs> Craftsman right there. How are you feeling? Oh my gosh, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> you should be impressed with yourself. You should be. This is fantastic. 200 welds later. Yeah, there was a lot of cuts and a lot of welds to make this model. Look at that bad boy. Oh, look at that model. Man, I'm pumped. All right, there we go. So this is why we did the model. So now you can see the steel. And this is base camp. You come up and over Conquer Pass. Then you got Faith's Edge. Then you got Grits Peak back here. And the big one, the granddaddy, Epic Arch. This doesn't even show the top, which is a platform you can jump off of. But there it is. That's why we built the model. So now we can see it in real life. And I'll put the little 3D graphic over top of this so you can actually see how this skeleton of a frame turns into the real rock thanks to elite concrete the masters oh look at these stairs come up these stairs you gotta come up these stairs i mean that is that's perfect now that we've built that model the next thing is we got to figure out the concrete the rebar to create the rock but that steel structure is a huge part of this model thanks for watching building boulder stay tuned it's getting real. See ya.